Hey guys, Kairi Sibi here another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Yokai Watch Fuyunyan Plan Model. So, like with all my other Plan Model reviews, first we're going to take a look at the instruction booklet and get an idea for what the build is like. So the cover to the instructions is pretty standard for Yokai Watch Plan Models, with the uh, kit's name, as well as the animation model up top, and a small uh, description. Then a uh, fully painted mock-up of the kit showing you some of the different options you can do and uh, if you guys don't know who Fu Yunyan is he is a yokai who first debuted in the games in Yokai Watch 2 and made his anime debut in the first Yokai Watch movie and he is the partner of the main character Keita's grandfather Keizo otherwise known as Nate's grandfather Nath Nathaniel and in the English games he's going to be called Hovernyan So opening up, you can see that this has four runners, two that are for the main body and then two for the other pieces, as well as a sticker sheet. Of course, like with all your hair watch plumals, instructions are fully colored and easy to follow since they show you the different pieces and how they go together quite well. It also shows you how to swap out the different pieces and shows you some different options you can do with these stickers. It also shows you how to apply stickers so that you do that, do that correctly and don't get any mess ups. So overall pretty straightforward. So to start off, let's look at Fu Yunan himself. So while he is a cat yokai, he is uh, one of the only cat yokai that doesn't follow what I like to call the Tibinyan standard, which is to have a notched left ear and then a pair of twin tails, each ending in a will o wisp. Instead, he has both full ears and a quite short stubby tail. You can see that his face is also quite different from other cat yokai, as instead of having fully rounded, fully open eyes, he instead has his eyebrows lowered to give him a confident look. He also always has his mouth open, like this, and has a white scar on his forehead. You can see that he wears a cape around, a nice red cape around his shoulders, and wears a tokusatsu hero-like belt on his waist. If we disassemble him a little bit, And see that he also doesn't wear a cat bell. Instead, it's having this simple pattern on his chest. And has one arm off to the side. Additionally, in a plum model only gimmick, you can actually take the cover off of his belt and see the inner workings. Comes with a special stand you can attach it to like so. And this holds some significance as this stand is based off of three milk caps and in the first movie and as well as in Yokai Watch 2 it's revealed that Kata's grandfather when he befriended yokai, would actually write their names on the back of milk ball caps, and this became the basis for yokai medals. You can even see one down here that has Fu Yunyan written on it. Next, we have the different option parts. So, as you can see, they all attach together like so. The first alternate part is an alternate set of legs, has him in a kicking pose, an alternate outstretched right arm, then an energy effect part. And so we can use these in different ways. For the arm, you can take it and swap it out, just like so. Then. Can raise it up 
take this part you're going to want to slide this bomb nut here into the notch in the bomb of his hand and that gives him an effect part to perform his special attack the Dokonjo Straight Nikiku which translates roughly to Gutsy Straight Paw just like so alternatively you can take Yunyan, detach his legs from his body put on his alternate set of legs then have him like this give him a look that, like he's grifting around or alternatively you can take the same effect part attach it via a notch in this foot to have him do a special kicking attack which is obviously a reference to the common Rider's Rider Kick. And there we go. So overall, while Fu Yunyan doesn't have that many alternate parts, he's still a really cool model kit, and to be honest, I would have gotten him one way or another because he's my favorite yokai. He just has a really cool design, even if it wasn't inspired by Tokusatsu heroes like Kamen Rider and Gecko Kamen, who was in turn the inspiration for the in-series hero, Guts Kamen. He's still just a real cool yokai and a real cool character. And while he doesn't have any alternate faces, it is cool that you've got the alternate legs, the alternate arm, and the effect part. Plus, being able to see under his buckle is a nice little feature. And you do have the two alternate eyes if you want to have him looking a little bit different from the standard look. And the funny thing about this kit is that while he first appeared in the anime in the first movie, the kit was actually released for the second movie, so it's still pretty recent. But regardless of that, this is still a really well-made kit, and even if it's uh, having the pieces, the extra pieces rather attached to the legs, which does look a little bit strange. It still is cool that all of the extra pieces do go together so that you don't lose them too easily. And I can certainly recommend this kit to anybody who's a fan of the character. Next time, I'll be doing another episode of Togu Toy Theory and looking at Gaim's Arms Changes. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And you can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.